Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining me today. Clyde Lindsay here at Pixel Pro Displays. We have got some awesome news. A huge announcement just added to X Lights moments ago. It is just about midnight. You can see here on my screen that it's like 11.52 p.m. It is Thursday, and I was like half tired until I found out that X Lights has a new release, and it is dot five. And I have to share this amazing information with you guys that you are just absolutely not going to believe. Um, so I'm gonna let me let me make me a little smaller here, and let's roll that intro, and we'll be right back. Hey guys, welcome back to the PPD YouTube channel. Thank you for joining me. This is Clyde Lindsay here, and I have an awesome edition with X Lights that David Prem shared with us. Uh, he kind of gave me a heads up on it last week, and um, I'm, I'm thrilled to be able to say that there was an uh, this edition that he's been working on. Now, if you ever import map a sequence from any source, you typically get this packaged sequence folder, and it makes it much, much easier to uh, uh, to transfer all of the folders, the, the sequence files, the, it, it packages up the video files and all the, all the shaders and the pictures and stuff, and it puts it all in a folder, and it packages it. You can go download it, and then we have to go through this really complicated process of switch show directories, extract the sequence out of the package sequence folder, open the sequence in X lights on their layout, render the sequence, save the sequence, close the sequence, go back to your layout. By the end of the process, everybody gets lost. It's too complicated. And a huge shout out because David put a lot of effort and time and trouble into this. And today I'm gonna show you how easy it is to map a package sequence with uh, video video uh, effects some uh, well there's no shaders or there's no pictures in this one but it does uh, show you the honest to goodness truth of the proof of concept and we're going to share it with you but I wanted to share with you on the screen here uh, you can see that this is where uh, we we see the enhancement by David it allows in this most recent release allow direct import from package sequence zip files so no longer do you have to unpack a sequence extract a sequence open render save an old uh, sequence from a download now you just download it put it in your import folder and leave it there so what I've already done is I went into uh, tools and I went to download sequences and I've downloaded the X lights around the world greatest showman sequence now um, uh, let me let me bring back my two folders here as my example. And what you're looking at here as is my download folder. Here's the Greatest Showman. And what you're looking at here is my show folder, an example of it. Notice notice the show folder here. There are no media files whatsoever. This is this is like a brand new empty. There's no sequences in here. It's a brand new layout. It's ready to go, right? What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and I'm going to create this. I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it import. Now inside this import folder, uh, if you like to organize things or keep things organized, period, uh, you can create a new folder for each location from where you might download sequences. So if you're in the PPD Sequence Club by chance, then by all means you can put a PPD folder in there and any of your sequences, you can download those sequences and put them in the PPD folder under your import. If you get it from the Google Drive, you can save it into the Google Drive folder. That keeps it organized. That way you know where you got it from. Uh, if you have another sequence vendor, by all means, put them here. You can do that as well. What I'm going to do is I am going to drag this over into my Google Drive folder because that's where it came from. Nothing up my sleeves, literally nothing up my sleeves. I've got a package sequence. I'm not, I'm not extracting it or anything. I'm going to go directly into my X Lights uh, show, and I'm going to go into New Sequence. I'm going to click on Musical Sequence. I'm going to navigate and find my music and G for greatest, greatest showman, there we go. And we'll click done. And now uh, keep in mind, this is, this is a demo only, but the, and there's a much more full way to do your imports, but I am only demoing 
that whenever you import from this package sequence that we're only going to map to the matrix and the megatree because those are the places where we might find pictures, images, and, and videos and shaders uh, in this particular sequence. It's videos I, for sure that I know of. So now what I'm going to do is typically I would tell you save your sequence here and then I would click the import button and now I'm going to go into um, I'm going to go to my desktop because that's where this folder is. I'm going to go to X lights. I'm going to go to mapping update, which is the folder that we're in. This is my show directory. This is your show directory. Now I'm going to go to imports and wherever I saved my package sequence. This is not an unpacked sequence. I'm telling you, it, uh, this is brilliant, David. Brilliant. And what X lights is doing now is it's going through the motion of extracting all of that folder paperwork everything that was in that that folder it's extracting it and now it's putting it in a new home and whenever it brings it in all we have to do is render the sequence and everything's going to map onto your house into your show directory into your file structure on your computer just like that so we're going to grab the matrix just like that is a novel by Lily Greta Van Hoffman. <laughs> <laughs> oh, computer stop Nothing like activating your Alexa whenever you're in the middle of a video, let me tell you. <laughs> so let's get back to this. Um, uh, let's go uh, grab our matrix and we'll slam it onto the matrix. Grab our megatree and slam it onto the megatree. I know we can map everything here and we can do a full import. That's not what I want to show you. Right now, I just want to show you that all we're doing is mapping where I know there are videos and we're going to put them on the matrix and the megatree, which nine times out of ten, people are going to do that. They're going to put matrix uh, effects and uh, sh shaders and so forth on the matrix and the megatree. So here you can see we have the megatree. There's a video effect on there. Here you see we have a matrix. Um, if I click render, this is going to take some time to go ahead and render. Um, let's go ahead and do that. I'm probably going to fast forward through the video because this is going to take some time. All right. Um, so hopefully, hopefully, let's bring up our house preview here. And what we're looking for is we're looking for matrix and megatree effects right here. And I'm going to go ahead and click here. And you can see here's a video effect right here on the on the matrix panel that's on the garage here and let's see what comes up here oh, that's on the matrix right there too as well let's go over to the mega tree and look and see if this rendered bam there you go the the mega tree rendered its effects there is no red on on the entire matrix there's no red on the the mega tree uh, I'd play the sequence but I, I the the goal here wasn't to play to map a sequence for you the goal is to show you guys that after today you only have to ever download and put your sequences in your import folder to keep track of them and check out what happens after you've done that so let's go ahead and oop, here we go um, let's look at your show folder and see what, what we've done. What, what has happened here is we have a new import media folder. And if we double click on this, it gives you the name of the greatest showman, which is the, sh the sequence, the name of the sequence uh, that we extracted, or not extracted, but downloaded. If we go into here, it, sh it will create the video folder. It will also, in other instances, it'll create a uh, folder for you as well to um, uh, keep your uh, images in. It also will put your shaders in a shader folder for you. And this should eliminate you having to go in and do that triple backflip where you have to change temporarily, map to your import folder, open, render, save, close, and then return temporarily from that into your home show folder and then start the process. So this really, really makes it the fastest, fastest way to ever import a sequence. Guys, I'm going to do a full video on this um, 
uh, and in in a couple days um, after after I play with it a little bit more, um, all of my sequences that I have already are mapped to my directories on my sh on my computer, and so if I import them, then it's already going to work. I I wanted to show you that if you had something that wasn't from your computer, it would automatically work, and obviously I downloaded that from the 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 internet, and I was able to import map it, and I didn't ever once, ever once, have to go in and change my directory. So, huge news, huge thanks to the developers. Thank you so much for watching the video, guys. If you like the video, please hit the like button. Give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And there's also the bell for notifications to tell you whenever we have a new video out, you'll get notified on your smartphone or if you log into Google. Um, also, remember, if you have questions, and comments put them in the comments down below we also have an awesome ppd community where you can ask any question that you have if you go to facebook.com uh uh, we have a Facebook group called Pixel Pro University PPU for short just search for it you'll find it or the links in the video description and finally if you guys appreciate the content that we create here on the PPD YouTube channel by all means consider joining the PPD sequence club we work really hard to create one awesome sequence each and every month. Uh, join the club for the monthly or annual, and you'll get one awesome sequence each and every month new to the store. Uh, you get awesome discounts from our vendor affiliates and a number of other bonuses as well. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you for joining us, and we will see you in the next video. Take care.